Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm stoked. This is, this is incredible. It's, um, you know, it's a home of, it's a home of horror. Uh, we're newbies, and um, yeah, we've been welcomed like a family. It's in incredible. It's uh, yeah, we're very, very grateful and humbled. I was going to say, what's very special about Fright Fest is that it's a community of film lovers that like horror movies. Absolutely, you know, and, and I think that, that that resonates throughout everything that's done here. You know, um, we were we were initially up against Chucky to start with until our screen time got pushed back, and we were kind of like, okay. It's a very, very established franchise. We're not expecting to, to obviously outsell Chucky or anything like that. It was a huge compliment. Um, but there was never ever a competitiveness within us. We were just, we were just very honored to be in this theater alongside the likes of horror franchises like Chucky and things like that that have been going for generations that everybody can, can you know, relate to. And you talked about resonating. What was it about this script that resonated with you? For me, it was, it was we, we've tried to, or Tom Payton, who's the writer and director, um, we very much focus, me as an actor and Tom, we're, we're very sort of passionate about telling a story, you know? And I think with, 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 um, with Redwood, it's more to do with these two central characters rather than the monsters that hide in the wood, you know? So it's a, it's a turn on the whole horror genre. Whereas normally, as I was saying, that sometimes the, 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 the humans are like cannon fodder, you know? They're, they're, you know? Whereas what we've tried to do is take the horror genre on a journey with these two characters, Josh and Beth, um, and do something a little bit different with them. And um, we just hope that, that, it, that it lands well with these fans because they know their genres, they're fantastic. And I think having a, um, a, a characters that you can invest in, that you can believe in, that adds that kind of gravitas, doesn't it, really? Yeah, that's what we've tried to do. We've tried to bring, um, which is kind of unusual in, in so much as there are so many fantastic characters in horror, so many legendary characters in horror. Um, what we've tried to do is make it a little bit more realistic in so much as it's two young people who are going through a really tough time and they happen to be in, an, in a horrendous spot of bother. And, um, and hopefully you'll really feel for these two, Josh and Beth, throughout the whole film, you know. We can't not talk about vampires because it is a vampire course, movie. Yeah. So was it was there something that you saw in the script that's different that we haven't seen in other vampire movies? I, I think, like I say, it's they don't play an integral part. I think what you tend to find with vampire films is that there's a big focus on the vampires, and there's been some fantastic vampire characters, as we all know in horror. But with Redwood, we've just tried to turn it on his head a bit. You know, the vampires are there, but they're not the main crux of the story. Um, however, they do play an integral part in the whole in the whole thing.